know, over here today, and I'm actually cooking. I've had a couple in a row, you know, where I wasn't really cooking. I was just kind of tasting stuff. But I saw this thing on the interwebs, and I'm like, I got to try that. And I can tell you right now, I already made one mistake. I'm going to tell you about in a second, but I think it's going to be good. So I saw some dude on the internet who was making a lote ramen noodles. And I'm like, lote is good. Ramen noodles are good. Let's give it a go. So I said, what I got going on here first? Right here, I got a container. I got some corn in here. And I got some queso fresco cheese and some milk. And they're all kind of cooking up together. It's real hot. I should have used like some kind of cheese that melts better. That's my mistake I'm going on right now. Didn't really melt that good. So I'm putting that back on the flame. I got some ramen noodles over here that I've already made. So I can take my ramen noodles and dump them in. Made those ramen noodles like five seconds ago, you know. Now I'm going to kind of mix this all together here. I got the corn. I got some cheese. I got my ramen noodles. And I'm just going to mix it all up. Oh boy, this is going to be so good. I can't, can't even tell you how excited I am right now. Now, of course, I got some lime juice right here. I'm going to put some lime juice on there. Boom, boom, boom. I like some lime. Got a lot of lime on there. <clears throat> I got your tahini sauce. It's good stuff. I, tahini, not sauce, you know, it's, it's like a spice here. Put some of this on there. This is when you, when you get lotes on the street, you know, it's got that, like, that cover, the spicy covering on it. That's just tahini sauce. That's what makes it taste so good. So I'm sprinkling this liberally on there. I like a lot of this stuff on there. Gives it that real authentic old look. And over here, I got some, uh, this is some picante hot sauce, salsa sauce. Put this on there. Boom, boom, boom. Get some spiciness going on there. Now I'm going to mix it up some more. Get all this good flavors all mixed in with the noodles and everything. Oh man, I'm getting so excited. Oh boy. This is pretty exciting things that are happening right now in my kitchen, I tell ya. I'm gonna get a better scooper here. Turn this thing off. Grab some of that corn. Grab some of these pastas. Oh boy, it looks so good! Woo! This is really an exciting one today, I tell ya right now, folks. <clears throat> gonna put a little bit more of the tahini on it because this stuff's the extra good stuff. Turn that off. Good, good, all off. Bring it over here. Now you can see, it's got all the trappings of both. So I made ramen noodles first. And I made the ramen noodles just like you make your regular ramen noodles. And I made it in a, like a soup. Put the little spice packet in there, boiled it up, made it like a soup. But then, instead of eating it like a soup, I drained the water. So noodles still have some of that soup flavoring in them. But it's not a soup, obviously, because it's right here on the plate. Then, I took some cheese, in my case queso fresco, which doesn't melt very well, I found out. Put it in there, mix that up, put in some milk with it, put in some corn with it, put in this uh, different tahini sauce and the spicy, spicy salsa sauce. I didn't use any mayo. I know I should use some mayo on here, but I'm just not a big fan of mayo. I don't know what it is. And I topped it off with a little bit of cheese on the end there. <coughs> also, I should let you guys know, on Friday I'm going in to get a TV camera put down my throat. I forgot why my voice has been so funny for like three months now. Driving me bonkers, tell you that right now. So here I go, I'm gonna take a nice big chunk over here. So look at that, the pasta looks great. I grab myself some good uh, noodles, and I got some corn in there, and I got some sauces on there, and cheese. And I gotta tell you right now, I mean, it didn't even experiment with this. If I would experiment, I would have found out that that uh, cheese was no good or melting. So this is just straight up, trying it for the first time right now. Looks pretty hot. I learned my lesson about that, so I'm going to blow a little bit. Oh my goodness! Stop the presses. I had an idea. Because the lotes are so good, and this is going to taste really good. However, I got to say, it is so much better than I ever thought it was going to be. This tastes like a little plate of heaven on my plate right here. Uh, usually I only take like one bite of things when I show you guys how good they are. But this is so good. I'm going to take an extra bite. This is something anybody can try. Doesn't take that many ingredients. It's not that hard to make. But it tastes like heaven. I'm going to take another one right now. Mmm. 
Boy, whoever invented this on the interwebs, thank goodness you're out there on the interwebs because this is crazy amazingly good. And at that, I'll see you next week. Or maybe my voice will be a little bit better. Who knows?